So, as you may know, everybody's beloved game, Fistful of Frags, is having a bit of a player base problem. And I think I know where the player base problems are coming from. I think this decline is coming from the updates from December of 2018. Schiffer, are you buttered about the Smiths again? A bit yes, but hear me out. So we have the Steam charts here, yeah? So as you can see, the player base was kind of alright, with hitting 600 and, I mean, Obviously, that's already going down because the game is fun, but really there is nothing to keep you playing besides, of course, being fun. So obviously, to stop this decrease, Rebel Vi came along and blessed us with a new series of updates to spice up the gameplay. But what he didn't realize is that too much change at once will drive the player base away, especially if it's core gameplay. Let me show you. So this was before that update. Then look over. And it's going down rapidly and then here it's up because Halloween. And it's up again because of the leprosy outbreak. So why don't we just take a look at those explaining the deep gameplay changes of recent little piece of news that Rebel Vi wrote to us. So, <clears throat> explaining the deep gameplay changes of recent. Howdy! Around October the 22nd, update things started to change. Quite a lot. Let me list the meaty part of them. Hammerless Pocket Revolver was introduced. Fast firing, low damage, 5 rounds. Now, we get that it's low damage, our expectations were low, but holy f**k. Actually, when I read this for the first time, I thought when he said fast firing, low damage, oh, I see, so it's just gonna be a more extreme version of the Volcanic, right? No. No, it's not. While the Volcanic is a functional pistol, this is a pest dispenser. Also, the fast firing can basically go and hang itself because it's so inaccurate that it's useless for fast firing. And also, the five rounds are really painful to load in, mostly because it loads in at once. I think the Scott Field was faster than this, and if he wasn't faster than this, then the Scott Field at least damaged. And you don't have to reload after every person that we killed. At least you could have reloaded that every second person. But this, you need to reload mid-fight. Schofield, Smith Corbine and Portable Whiskey Jug not available as stock items. Now this is where the biggest problem comes from. Mostly, you know what, let's just forget about this Smith Corbine, yeah? Let's forget that Roman ever existed. Why the Schofield? I mean, literally, a year prior to this, Rebel Vi just put in the Remington Army, which is basically the same, but a bit more inaccurate than the Schofield. Wouldn't be easier to get the Schofield, like, put an extra bullet in it, like how it was before, and then decreasing its accuracy. We would have the same gun, but we wouldn't have. Right now, right now, yeah, the Remington Army is exactly the same as the Mare's Leg, except that the Remington Army can't kill on one headshot. So it's absolutely useless if you are trying to score headshots, and in every other setting, just to use the mayor's leg is just better. Okay, maybe the Remington Storm shoots a bit faster, but no, but it doesn't matter if you can kill somebody in one shot. And the Smith Corbine, let's just forget about the Romans and the people who use it close range. You just f*** with the sniper so hard, you can't snipe in this game anymore. Unless, of course, you use the bow. But the bow is cancer. I would have said that the Smith Corbine should be changed and not just thrown out. The Smith Corbine could work, but you should give some penalty for using it close range. And that way you could have actually killed the Roman, that's where you're probably going for. Because I agree, 75 damage close range, then either kicking with them with the boot or shanking them with a the knife is kind of shit, And you can't really do anything about that. So hear me out, what if... You do it like how you did with the Derrick Girl and the Smith Corbin and you can't equip the two at once. Not because it's too expensive, but because you can't. It's that simple. Also the Whiskey Jug, yeah, I mean, that was a mean weapon. I, it's alright that it's taken out. I, I don't understand why did Rebel White take it out. It wasn't in anybody's way. He could have just left it in, saying that it's useless in shootout, but there it is if you want to meme. Then again, it was probably taken out so hackers' friends couldn't help the hacker or something. I mean, there are loads of anti-cheat. Stuff because VEC is kind of VEC. Yellow Boy included the loadout menu along with negative 30% damage decrease. So, congratulations! You grabbed a good gun and you turned it into a high range pest dispenser. Because of the 30% damage decrease, this gun is useless so long range. So, people are gonna use this as they used with the Smith Corbine. Congratulations! 
Rebel Y. You could have just maybe implemented something that we have in TF2 with the crossbow that further the target is, the more damage it does. And like close range it damages like 30 and long range it damages the proper 75 that he should. Not right now, but on... If you want to use the rifle as a rifle, it damages as much as a pest dispenser would damage your hand. Besides, nothing really changed. Besides, you maybe need to either shoot the guy once, or you need to give them the double. And basically you're back to the Roman. It would be really nice if you could get the Smith Carbine back and do it that way because... They just lower the skill ceiling for a fun strategy for everybody to use. But who knows, I may be on the wrong side of history. But still, the yellow boy, it needs some fixing. Because if you if you shoot somebody in the head with it, that damage is 62 on close range. Now, he goes yay far, you shoot him in the head, and it damages nothing besides the head drop. The rigger was less a secondary only option, but cheaper. This was an absolutely idiotic move. Like, the hammerless, like, Rebel Y, admit it. The hammerless is useless. Just admit it. Like, either give us the double Derry Girl back, because the hammerless is useless, or put the Derry Girl into first slot and the second slot like how it used to be. And keep it as cheap. And the hammerless just yeet it out and give us back the Schofield. Or if you really want the hammerless, then yeet out the bow and give us back the Schofield or the Smith. It's that simple. It's that easy. Several weapon balances. Mare's leg, sword of shotgun and bow. Oh yeah, right, I remember that. That's when the mare's leg became ridiculously slow. Removing the Schofield and the Smith from stock selection on team enabled shootout slash elimination was a hard decision. I bet it was a hard decision, but not because they belong there, but there was a point of making certain mid-tier weapons more available, as there was some initial concern regarding some players could access to better weapons. Since the chest system was revamped, let me rephrase that for you. Since we broke the chest system, since we broke the chest system, that concern isn't there anymore. Getting weapons that grant an edge from the start seems illogical regarding player progression, yet I still see reasons to keep the Schofield at least. And the Smiths too. Then, like I said, maybe I'm on the wrong side of history, but I'm pretty sure that both guns could have been kept. Then again, if, if you think that you should have kept in the Schofield, nobody is stopping you to put back the Schofield! And maybe get the hammerless out of my face, because it's useless. Have you ever been killed with the hammerless without getting absolutely memed or just some dumbass shot you from somewhere for like 5 damage and you didn't have any health at the time? Who goes on a kill streak with the hammerless? You can go on a kill streak with the mare's leg. You can go on a kill streak with the volcanic, the navy, the hatchet, with the Remington, even with the Remington army. Even though that's just same as the mare's leg, but it can't headshot, so it's just worse. But the hammerless just. It's just bad. Take it out. Or fix it. Put the skull field back in. The sword of shotgun got a small boost. This is a problematic weapon because no one really uses it when it's a tad underpowered. And once you bump it a bit, it, then it becomes an annoyance. Well, I've seen it worse. That boost wasn't enough. Maybe I could recommend the uh, fix the pilot pattern, like how we have that in competitive TF2. That the bullets just doesn't fly everywhere, it shoots in a fixed pattern. So you can actually calculate for it. Also, the sword of shotgun is not used because it's useless. You can't have a weapon that sometimes damages 50 and other times damages 6 or 5 or 10. Nobody's gonna use that because it's useless. It's unreliable. It's like having the walker sometimes jamming. That nobody would take out the walker because if it would jam at the wrong time, then it would be bad for people because nobody would use that. So next, the bow. The bow got a tiny fire rate boost and a higher damage from close. Nothing huge, but I felt a small boost would make it better. I don't say that a small boost won't make the bow better. But the problem is the bow is too good. It was good already. Now you just make it more good, which it absolutely doesn't need it. Nerf the bow. Either give it some sound, because if you want to see an annoyance, then it's not a sword off, too strong, or having a Roman get your guts out. No. You could do anything about that. But when somebody just f***ing Kotusha strikes you with a bow, you have no f***ing clue where that guy is. Especially when the server is so empty, because everybody left because of this update, it's 
absolutely unbelievable. I would say that either do something with the bow so you can actually tell where the shots are coming from. I, I get it, you maybe maintain the sound so you can't tell if you're getting close or not, but you could at least have a f***ing idea where the shots are coming from. Because right now is the most annoying gun that you have in the game, the bow. Because you can't tell where the shots are coming from. It's even worse than the shotgun, the pump shotgun, which it's really... <laughs> Which basically, you can only counter that if you jump the guy with the group or shoot him in the head before he kills you. But the bow, if you don't know where the enemy is and the enemy is shelling you to shit, then you can't do anything besides dodging and dying and ignoring the cunt with getting an infinite KD ratio because zero deaths is zero deaths because somebody is with with a bow who doesn't dare to show his face. And that's annoying. The removal of the whiskey jug is easy to explain. I think everybody gets it, why was it taken out? And Yellow Boy is a major change aimed towards those who like to snipe. <laughs> I'm not denying that this isn't a major change. I'm denying that it's just a huge nerf to snipers. Because now if you want to snipe, you need to take out the Spencer. Yes, it's good. It's, it's a good. That's the problem with the carbine. See, it's good. But you know what else is good? Every other gun. Take out the mirrors like that gi That gun's good. The weapon itself fills a niche that there shouldn't be such a stock weapon that offers a wide range of attacks. Why? If you lock every good weapon into chests, then nobody will use them because everybody is gonna go for the good chests. It's gonna be a mosh pit of people trying to get one good weapon while everybody is suffering with the shit ones. I don't say that we should put all the good weapons into the stock menu, obviously not. I'm saying that we should offer some mid-range weapons, not in how far can they shoot, but in quality, which are okay, but not horrible. If you put in the bad guns, then nobody will play the game because they think that the guns are bad. You can't just give people starter guns that are bad. If the starter gun sucks, then the player will leave. You can have an alright gun that is nothing special, but not a shitty one. The yellow boy, as is now, allows some decent mid-range options. <laughs> <laughs> I understand if you have a problem with the Roman playstyle, but this is not the way to fix that. But it gets a lot riskier than moving into rooms and corridors. I would say differently. First of all, it has a big magazine. Damage is actually alright. It damages as much as the Schofield did. So it's basically a replacement for the Schofield and they took, <laughs> took out all the ranged options besides the bow which you should never use because the bow is cancer. No speed slow down while walking backwards. That's good. Let's just slow down while jumping. I mean, that's good too. Negative 50% speed was due to weapon damage. I kind of disagree with this one. Slap them with 75 and they just run away. No, they can't run away because they slow. They got tagged. I personally like this feature because it basically just conf confirms your kill if you're scaled. I like tagging. I'm gonna, I like thinking I'm gonna leave it there. In my opinion, CSGO even does this too much because that game, you, you, you do a full stop when you get hit. That's a bit too much. This game just slows you down. It's a bit better. But still, if you don't have taking, it's a bit crap. No dive jump possible when charging forward. Less impulse gain from multiple hops. They, they took out bunny hopping again. I don't know. Bunny hopping was possible before. I have no problems with taking out bunny hop that shouldn't exist, so... Neutrality scoring system revamped. That doesn't really affect the game besides the end, but really no one cares about that. Carried physics props may drop easily when jumping or touching other solids. That sounds good. That, that's actually a bit of a hit to the heavy loads. Too bad they actually buffed it down the line with this series of updates, because I guess... Maybe if you ram it into the wall and you drop it, that's too much of a debuff. Now you need to buff it to shit even more. It can be that maybe if, even right now Heavy Lords is too overpowered. There is no chance that Heavy Lords is overpowered. Please. Tracking skill. Footprints from enemies are visible for a short amount of time. This one replaces the gentleman perk. Now, there is two problems. Actually, I'm a bit of torn on this one because it's actually really helpful when there aren't loads of people on the server. When there are, it's kind of useless, but... Anyways, the problem is that it takes out the gentleman perk. Everybody understands the gentleman is useless and nobody used it. Give us the top head back. Rebel Y, give us the top head back. You can't run away this easily. Give us gentleman back. Even though nobody uses gentleman properly, everybody just there for the top hat. Walking mode gets a big accuracy decrease. Now actually, this doesn't affect me that much because I don't revolve around uh, walking to aim. But s to some people, actually lots of people, this was a huge turn off because 
basically they just for them the absolutely revenge gameplay it's still okay but it's kind of useless so basically what you can do now is just run handgun skills revamped increase accuracy for ambidextrous small degrees for left-handed right-handed gets a sharpshooter mode replaces fanning now this is a lot at the same time so ambidextrous nobody uses ambidextrous because it's kind of shit. Besides, you only have two guns when you use the Derry Girls, which is not the case anymore because you don't have two Derry Girls anymore. Small degrees for left-handed. I mean, you really can't blame anybody besides yourself. You made left-handed better than right-handed. Right-handed gets a sharpshooter mode that replaces fanning. So basically, what they did right now is... The Smith rifle has been taken out. Sorry, guys. Use whatever you can. You can have your aiming. Fanning handgun skill. Improved handgun secondary fire mode. Increased accuracy, speed, while moving fire rate. Fanning was already kinda useless. This helps a bit. It's good for the volcanic, but the problem is it's only good for the volcanic. And you can't fan the hammerless. That's the big point. That is hammerless. You can't fan it because it has no hammer. Besides, why would you fan the hammerless? The hammerless sucks. Overview. I guess the intention here is to bring some more diversity into the table while limiting certain underlying issues. Now you see, you can't bring diversity to the table if you take out diversity from the table. Because right now, congratulations Rebel Y, we have two of the same guns, a gun that's useless, a gun that shouldn't be used because it's too overpowered, another gun that's useless for its intended purpose, a melee weapon, and an inconsistent gun. And the navy. The navy is alright. The Remington army and the mail leg is alright. The problem is that it's the same, besides the Remington army is a bit worse. Predominant tactics makes the game stale. I understand that if there are only two tactics in the game, then that, of course, that makes the game stale. The fix is, you don't just take out the two existing strategies, because then you just have no strategy. You can't just claim to bring more diversity into a game if you take out diversity from the game. So what am I meaning? You take out two guns, then you put in a gun that's useless, then two months earlier you put in a gun that is the same as the other one, but it can be used as a part of a set because it's just worse than the original one. Therefore, you didn't make diversity, you took out two working strategies, then you just made one strategy have more options. Actually, I think you took out more than two. Wait, let me think. It makes the game more predictable. But I mean, you want predictability, don't you? If you have a better starting point from the other person, if you have more skill from the other person, and the other person is not lucky, with all of this, you don't know if you win or not, that game is not fun. That game is an unpredictable mess. This defense could be appreciated in fourth in the form of all over kick jumping. You did not fix kick jumping now, did you? Therefore, why even bring it up? Left handed revolvers. You made left handed better than right handed, didn't you? And one shot weapons. Now right here, he is especially talking about the sharps, the smiths and the bow. But the problem is, now Rebel Y is not a father who likes all of his children equally. Now easy. The sharps, he did not change which is good because the sharps is at the perfect spot right now the bow got buffed for no reason the bow is already overpowered then he took the smiths out of the stock weapons menu you wanna take out something from the stock weapons menu then you take out the bow and heavy loads but you don't put heavy loads anywhere else you just take out heavy loads period and you take out the bow and put that into the blue chest because that is a weapon that damages as much as the yellow boy but it's silent and you have no idea where the f you're getting shells from and it's also faster it shoots with the same rate and it doesn't need to reload so if something is overpowered then it's gonna be the bow why jump kicking is an issue i don't think it's actually an issue if it doesn't work and it's broken because it doesn't work not because it's overpowered then obviously take it out left hand it still gives the biggest time to stop and shoot now that's a lie because it's actually right handed if you aim you can even jump around the corner with that sh what i would propose if it was so hard to take the scoffel out, then why the f did you take it out? If you want to enable snipers from existing, but you don't want the Romans knocking, putting in the yellow boy, you know what? It's alright. There is no problem with putting in the yellow boy. The problem is that 30% damage decrease. If it damages 65 on headshot, 65 on headshot, close range. If you're far, it damages 10. If you want to use yellow boy for sniping, maybe take the damage drop off 
from the gun, maybe. If you want people to shoot fire with it, then let people shoot, shoot fire with it. I don't think it's for an idea. I don't think the sniper in TF2 has damage fall off. Why do we have so heavy fall off on the yellow boy? So I think do they with the fall off, then maybe the yellow boy would be good for sniping. Maybe. And maybe reduce the damage decrease from 30% to maybe like only 15%. So it would damage 75 or 80 or 90 on headshot. And then we do damage like 70 on normal hit. Besides, I also wanted to add this. Drummond is not that dead. The Smith rifle is dead. There is the Derigger, obviously. But you can also do it with the yellow boy. Because you shoot somebody with yellow boy for 50. Then you have the option to shoot again. Or give them the double, which damages more than 60. In which case, they die.